The economy and inflation are the top issues for voters deciding the 2024 presidential race. CBS News and CBS News Miami teamed up to work on a poll of Florida voters to get a better understanding as to how the current economic conditions are impacting your life. CBS News Miami's Jim DeFitti is here with more of those poll results. And you and I uh, were here yesterday when that uh, poll came out by Anthony Salvanto and this, the team at CBS News. And it is quite extensive. Yeah, no, one of the things that's fascinating, you know, you, everyone can focus on the top line numbers, you know, that, that Donald Trump is ahead of Joe Biden by nine points, 54 to 45. But it's really digging into those numbers that are so important. And what you really discover, as you said, it's the economy. It's so I feel like we're back with James Carville in the Bill Clinton campaign from all those many years ago. It's the economy, stupid. And that is clearly what it is here. And one of the things I want to show you is from within those numbers of how your own personal finances sort of affect you. And, and just if you look at this number for a second, and what you realize is 48% of Floridians either feel that their own personal finances are fairly bad or very bad compared to 49% who feel that it's very good or fairly good. So when you've got almost half the electorate essentially saying that their own personal financial system situation is going poorly, they look for a change and they usually blame Washington. Right. And we want to know, obviously, what the voters think about these numbers and how that's going to translate to how they vote in the booth come November. So voters were asked about how each presidential candidate in November might impact their finances. What were inter what was interesting about the numbers? Let's go right to the numbers with Joe Biden. I mean, this is, you know, all you need to know here is look at that. If Joe Biden is elected in 2024, his policies will make you feel financially worse off 52 percent. Mm -hmm. That is a devastating number. In other words, that is telling you that in Florida, Florida voters, they think that a second Joe Biden term will make them even worse off financially than they already feel they are. Now let's look at Donald Trump's numbers and you see almost not quite the opposite, but let's go to the next one. Yeah, look at that. 47% believe they'll be financially better off with Donald Trump, you know, in the White House in 2025 starting then. So you, that is really what it boils down to when you take a look at the macro level. Look, everyone votes their own personal interests at the end of the day. And for most folks, it's economic issues. Democrats had hoped that abortion would move that would change that a lot, that that if the abortion measure was on the ballot, the six week abortion ban in Florida, that that would drive voters. But what we found in the poll, Elliot, Lauren, as you guys saw from the looking deeper into the numbers is economy is number right. one, inflation number two, and abortion comes down around six or seven among issues really driving voters. Also, marijuana is getting support from both Republicans and Democrats, but it's not impacting the top of the yeah. ticket. And, and here's my favorite number. I'll keep, I'm going to keep using it all day long. 47% of Trump voters are also voting for the abortion amendment. So they can pick and choose. They're going a la carte. They want the economy for Donald Trump, but they'll still vote for the abortion measure. And they'll vote for the marijuana, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jim. Jim, thanks so much.